All right, welcome everybody. We are watching a game between Mito and Robrot. This is on Fertile Crescent. We have Robrot as German and Mito over here as Spain. So this is an interesting matchup that I've seen quite a few times lately, especially in this tournament and on this map too. And the way that they typically go is I've been seeing a lot of dops come out and try to kill the outpost of Spain. So I wonder if that's going to be the case here uh, for for Robrot, who this is actually kind of feel like the the reverse match of what you match up of what you would expect. Um, Mito is typically a German player, and Robrot is typically a Spain player. But I'm assuming they probably both ban those civs for each other. Like, Robrot probably cannot play Spain and Mito cannot play German. So this is a very interesting first game reverse roll uh, matchup. So, Mito, no, <laughs> Robrot as German looking to take the 70 wood treasure here. It's not going to benefit him a whole bunch in the early game because he already built the market and got hunting dogs. Very good macro. Um, yes, I, I know this has been casted. I just wanted to check this. I haven't checked out the series myself, so I really wanted to check this out. And um, very curious to see how it goes. So, German here. Very good herding. Robot has been very impressive. I've, I've played him in one of my series in the tournaments, and I was impressed by his play. He did end up beating me in the series, um, even though I was up 2-0 at one point, but let's not get into that. Um, but yeah, very good herding here. Let's check out Mito. He is sending capitalism. Three bills and then capitalism with TP start. He's herding very well as, as well. Lots of he's got his second hunt already coming into his TC. Uh, while Robrot, I mean, typically you don't do that because you want to age up as fast as you can and uh, just gather as long as you can. But um, yeah, he's bringing it in early. He'll be able to get the 15 bill age up. Uh, we'll have a little bit of idle time, but he'll be just fine. Not much at all, not much idle time at all. And Robrot. I mean, again, this is really, really good herding. Like, very impressive. Like, there's one, two, three, four dead deer right outside the door of the TC. That is so efficient. Mito is pretty much the same as well. But even the second hunt already under his TC at three minutes. That's, that's great, too. So, again, curious. It looks like Robot is definitely going to go for a TP in transition. I would assume he's going to get placer mines as well. And then uh, you can do a few different things in terms of wood gathering after that. You can go for 225 um, gathering before switching to gold. So you can have enough for a house and placer mines. And some players like to do 325. So you have room for two houses. I'm sorry, not placer mines. Two houses and steel traps. That's, of course, after placer mines. This... This is, oh my God, the dog got lost. He didn't get it up because of that. He got it up because of that. That is insane. Wow. I mean, I don't even think that should have worked. Maybe he like knew the dog would bug out in this little gap here. Oh, look at that dog's face. Wow. Mean mugging. <laughs> But, okay, you got the TP, so that's all you really need. Getting placer mines, and he's uh, just a little bit under the, the needed res for steel traps, but I'll get that with the wood crates. So, interesting, he only got 125. So, I'm thinking he probably doesn't even make a military building. Oh, okay, totally wrong. He makes the barracks, but he might not get steel traps. And Mito sends the outpost wagon. It's going with the standard crates, 700, 700. So it looks like Robrot is going to do the dot play that has been so common in this matchup 
uh, in the recent recent games I've watched, and in this tournament especially, and on this map. Mito does notice that though, and puts the top post way back at home, behind his market, which is a great placement because it's harder to siege that way, makes it a little bit safer. Robrot building a house with a regular settler. That's not typically what you would do because the settler wagons build twice as fast. Or maybe even more, maybe even faster than that, I, I believe. Because otherwise, it wouldn't make it would be the same. But I think they have a little bit of an advantage. So, he is skipping... He is skipping steel traps and just going five dops. Mido putting a little bit of a wall around this tower. He's not going to get... There's not going to be any villagers killed here. Just a little bit of idle time. Mido perfectly just putting in one villager, not overreacting and putting in a whole bunch to try to kill that. Because the tower is helping. But uh, yeah, Mido's looking pretty good here. He has yet to send his third shipment in H2. Five dops are on the TP, the second TP, which Mito did build in transition, which is pretty standard from what I've been seeing. Transition to H2, that is. Dropping into barracks in a couple houses. See. Looks like Mito does have steel traps. Yeah, he does. So that's, I don't think that's too standard for Spain. He, I, I'm really surprised he's not sending five bills here. I guess he's going to go for a bit of tempo once he hits H3. He's going double barracks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting probably a thousand coin uh, first in H3. Depending on the pressure, he might have to go with nine rods if he feels a lot of pressure. Another Olin raid coming in, but not going to amount to anything. Mido's on top of the villa protection. Does get the dog, however. Yeah, he might actually get this. Oh, he is going to get the... Maybe not. Oh, that's good. That's perfect timing. Wow. So he doesn't get a vill. Loses another two Olin. Does he even... I think he lost all four already, right? Yeah. Five dops coming over to the other TP. Robrot went three vill. 700 coin. Look at this card he has in deck. I ha I remember having that card. In. More damage and hit points for town centers. <laughs> that's uh, kind of bizarre. Kind of bizarre card to see for, for a German. Wait, oh, that's right. Spain cannot ship a thousand coin. I totally forgot that. Thanks, Jerry. But yeah, they basically going for the equivalent, which is Spanish gold. He'll get that thousand coin over the next three shipments. Um, it's just a slower trickle of it, and then over time becomes better. So, But yes, he is going skirm rod oh a three dot pop and that's really getting a lot of damage on these rods here four hus going out to raid get the explorer but now there's six total dops it looks like 10 oh, oh i didn't even notice these ones over here that was a good split wow that is that is a lot of value there and uh, and you totally don't expect that as mito like 10 dops being made in transition, like five at the start of H2 and then in transition. Goldmine does run out for Robrot. He's got to be a little bit more on top of that auto time. There he goes. So that cleaned up a lot of units. That that pop may basically be game changing, game winning. Vet Dops coming in. I, I really like this. I mean, especially against, against Spain, where have typically have a very... Uh, melee centric composition these guys are beast right now but there are a bunch of skirms coming out for Mido so if he's a little bit patient he needs to be patient here he can't do anything he can't be out on the map too far it's, um, yeah very risky to with this small of an army after taking that loss and Robrot Let's see what he's sending next. He's going skirm, so he went. He went uh, eight skirm, seven skirm, and he's still making dops. So he's just shipping skirm, and making dops. I think for the rest of the game, he's probably just going to make pure dops, 
sends shipments of what all all the military units that he has in the deck, which is a lot, and he even has five dops and hand infantry combat. But Mito has the skirmisher advantage right now, has veteran rods, so he's looking pretty good right now to to hold off this pressure. Just because he has a skirmisher advantage. But the seven skirm comes in for for Robrot. And this is a... Uh, uh, feels like a bad fight for Mido. Olin coming in from the back there. But there's so many vet dops. This is extremely... And five more pop! This is brutal! Oh my gosh. This is... So, this is... I, this is cleanup. Just total cleanup. You can't get out of the snare with the Olin there. 15 vet dops? That is just total, total cleanup. Holy cow. Wow. And uh, Robrot is heading straight to Mito's base now with a massive army. Lots of siege. He's got 10 vet dops with 72 siege damage each. Mito is having to leave his base finally to go hunt. I just... What does he have coming? He's got two Falks. Um, and a, and two <laughs> rods in Q, Minutemen pop. If he can somehow clean these dops, well, the all there's three all in there too. These these Falks, they're just not gonna have any safety, any protection. Oh, it's a good spot to pop for sure. A couple good shots, but there's just too many. And then five more dops coming from the back. That's that's dead. I could, wow, I mean, this, I don't, he's gathering the gold to try to get some skirms out, but the Dops are on the TC, let's see what, he's got, Robrot's got 9 Olin coming in behind this too, he shipped the 3 war wagons, he's getting so much XP from the fights, he's got like almost constant shipments, and this, this is looking, I mean, the TC's almost down already. Mido does get six skirms out, but it's... Uh, if he gets the Lancers, he's sending rods. Mmm. This this is... There's no way to stop this TC from going down. It's it's down. <laughs> it's, oh, man. And and that's GG. Wow. That, that was very aggressive. Very aggressive play by Robrot. I wonder, man, if seeing that forward barracks, I wonder if Mito should have made like 10 muskets or something to try to defend his trade post. But uh, that, that sieging of this barracks surrounding it and five dops popping, ten, uh, five more dops coming in for a surround, that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, when you lose that many units in, in that fight, that early on and then against german and they just snowball with their shipments that's very difficult to come back from that's i mean smart very smart play from robrot i i don't you don't typically see that i mean if you go back a few years you don't really see that type of type of build or that many dops in in any german games so it's while you could have thought about it and feared it, it's I don't think it's typically at the front of your mind, at least um, as like an old school player, that, that wouldn't have been what I was thinking was coming. So that's uh, the new meta, right? I mean, you got to gotta be up to date.